Dear seekers of truth, let us heed the timeless wisdom that our revered teacher imparted to us. He spoke of the profound influence our words hold, likening our tongues to the sharpest of knives, capable of both healing and harming. Indeed, he cautioned that our words, though intangible, possess a potency unmatched by any physical weapon. They have the power to uplift or devastate, to nurture or wound, yet in the gentle embrace of silence lies a sanctuary of immense power. Our teacher's teachings guide us to understand the delicate balance between speech and silence urging us to speak with kindness and wisdom, for therein lies the path to success and inner peace. Today let us embark on a journey into the heart of silence, guided by a tale from ancient India. In the tranquil depths of the forest lived a revered Buddhist monk whose very presence emanated serenity. It was here, amidst the quietude of nature, that a weary king sought solace from the monk's profound wisdom, seeking to quell the restlessness that plagued his mind despite possessing all worldly riches. In the depths of his heart, the king confessed his inner turmoil to the monk, pleading for release from the ceaseless unrest that gripped his soul. With gentle yet unwavering resolve, the monk replied, The answer lies within you, awaiting discovery. Proposing an experiment to liberate the king from his affliction, the monk guided him towards a path of profound transformation. Despite his initial trepidation, the king, driven by a fervent desire for inner peace, wholeheartedly embraced the monk's proposition. For the ensuing fifteen days, the king dwelled within the monk's monastery, embracing a life of simplicity and silence. Though initially beset by restlessness and doubt, he steadfastly adhered to the monk's directive, speaking scarcely and immersing himself in the quietude of solitude. As the days unfolded, the king confronted his inner turmoil with unwavering resolve, resisting the urge to succumb to the tumultuous whispers of his mind. Though the journey was fraught with challenges, a subtle transformation began to unfurl within him. With each passing moment spent in silent contemplation, the king discovered a newfound sense of serenity and contentment burgeoning within his soul. Amidst the stillness of the night, he found solace in the embrace of silence, his heart alight with a radiant peace previously unknown. As the days unfolded, the king found himself immersed in a profound journey of self-discovery amidst the tranquility of his surroundings. Engaging in solitary contemplation, he marveled at the intricate beauty of nature, finding solace in its harmonious rhythm. With each passing moment spent in communion with the natural world, the king felt the shackles of inner restlessness gradually loosen their grip upon his soul. Ten days transpired, each marked by a deeper sense of peace and clarity as the tumult within his mind began to subside. On the twelfth day, a profound stillness enveloped the king as he descended into the depths of meditation, his consciousness merging effortlessly with the boundless expanse of the cosmos. In this state of tranquil serenity, the king found release from the burdens that once weighed heavily upon his spirit. Emerging from his meditative reverie, the king approached the venerable monk, his heart brimming with newfound understanding. Respected monk, he began, I have uncovered the root of my inner turmoil. With humility and clarity, he acknowledged the role his incessant chatter and negative thoughts had played in perpetuating his unrest. In this moment of profound revelation, the king embraced the transformative power of silence, recognizing it as the key to unlocking the depths of inner peace and tranquility. With gratitude in his heart, he embarked upon a journey of self-transformation, guided by the timeless wisdom of the Buddha's teachings. The king, reflecting upon his past patterns of excessive speech and negative thinking, realized the profound impact they had on his life. My incessant chatter and pessimistic outlook wasted precious moments and clouded my mind, he acknowledged. 
Unable to focus on my tasks, I found myself engulfed in a cycle of failure and discontent. These continuous setbacks cast a shadow over the king's existence, leaving him disillusioned and easily irritable. Yet, within the crucible of solitude and silence, he discovered a path to redemption. These fifteen days have been transformative, he confessed, a revelation that has awakened me to the true essence of living. In the gentle guidance of the Buddhist monk, the king found solace and clarity. Together they explored the profound significance of silence, recognizing its intrinsic value in fostering inner peace and self-awareness. The monk recounted the words of Gautama Buddha, who eloquently expressed the essence of silence as a gateway to self-discovery. Buddha once revealed, the monk recounted, that he embraced silence to delve into the depths of his being, for in silence lies the key to unraveling the mysteries of the self. Without it, true understanding remains elusive. The king, humbled by this revelation, vowed to embrace the sacred art of silence, recognizing it as a catalyst for profound transformation. In the stillness of his newfound awareness, he embarked upon a journey of self-discovery, guided by the timeless wisdom of the Buddha's teachings. Indeed, the first step on this journey towards inner peace is to embrace the profound power of silence. Speak only when necessary, for as the wise teach, much of our speech, about 90%, holds the potential for harm. Imagine a world where unnecessary chatter is replaced by serene stillness, where conflicts dissipate, restlessness fades, and arguments cease. When individuals learn to temper their words with silence, a harmony descends upon the world. The cacophony of discord gives way to a tranquil symphony of understanding. For those who grasp the value of silence, even amidst the bustling crowds, peace reigns supreme. The company of others, once daunting, becomes a sanctuary of serenity. Begin by seeking solace within yourself, allowing the quietude to envelop your being. Invite your thoughts to settle like the gentle ripples upon a serene pond. In moments of unease, close your eyes and reconnect with the essence of your being. Within yourself lies the wellspring of life, the source of your happiness. Look inward, for therein resides the ultimate sovereignty over your inner world. Embrace the silence, for it is within the depths of stillness that true liberation is found. As you embark on the journey within, you delve into the depths of existence, touching upon the very essence of life and even glimpsing the shadow of death. This inner voyage mirrors the ebb and flow of existence, akin to witnessing the sun rise and set with each passing day. Yet, with each return from this sacred journey, a sense of renewal washes over you, akin to the invigorating embrace of a refreshing bath. Quiet contemplation, like a soothing balm, leaves you feeling tranquil and content. In the depths of your inner sanctuary, words cease to disturb the tranquil waters of your mind. Instead, a profound serenity envelops you, allowing you to speak without disrupting your inner peace. Your words, imbued with the essence of your inner harmony, resonate like melodious music, weaving a tapestry of unity and grace. In embracing this inner silence, you unlock a reservoir of inner strength, casting off the shackles of societal expectations. Within this newfound freedom lies a boundless joy, akin to the exhilaration felt by those who pursue their dreams with unwavering passion as you journey deeper into the realms of inner peace. A radiant glow will suffuse your countenance and your eyes will sparkle with a luminous brilliance. Immersed in the boundless ocean of tranquility, you'll find a serenity that transcends worldly concerns. Reflect upon the observation that excessive speech seldom brings solace to the restless mind. Rather, it scatters our thoughts and fragments our focus, hindering our ability to pursue our aspirations with clarity and determination. Consider, too, 
the curious phenomenon that those who speak less often command greater respect and attention from their peers. Their misurid words carry weight and sincerity, earning them admiration and trust. Conversely, those who incessantly chatter often find themselves the subject of ridicule and skepticism. True wisdom lies not in the volume of words uttered, but in the discernment of when, where, and what to say. Those who master this art navigate life's challenges with grace and confidence, emerging victorious in their endeavors. Indeed, the one who speaks with purpose and restraint invariably becomes the focal point of admiration and achievement in various pursuits, as we contemplate the traits of remarkable individuals, we discern a common thread, their judicious use of words, carefully selected and thoughtfully delivered. This deliberate approach to speech is a cornerstone of their success, setting them apart from those who succumb to the temptation of excessive chatter and negativity. Indeed, those who indulge in ceaseless talk often resorting to falsehoods and spreading discord, find themselves alienating others and tarnishing their own reputations. Conversely, the practice of silence fosters patience and self-awareness, leading to a deeper understanding of oneself and the world around us. I urge you, dear friends, to dedicate at least 20 minutes each day to solitude and introspection. This simple yet profound practice holds the power to instigate a positive transformation in your life. As we draw near the conclusion of our Zen journey, I extend an invitation to join our Inspira Zen community. Your support and engagement are vital as we continue to share stories of wisdom and enlightenment. Please show your support by liking, sharing and commenting below with your thoughts or suggestions for future Zen tales. For more moments of inspiration and tranquility, subscribe and activate the notification bell. Your participation fuels our collective journey towards wisdom and enlightenment. Thank you for walking this path with us.